Hey guys, Mike Pensini here, coming at you from Sydney, Australia. Just picked up this this morning, Keyscape from Spectrasonics, the new uh, collector keyboard library. Um, just want to play through some of the patches for you. Check them out, it comes on these pretty cool little metal uh, USB drives. And uh, yeah, I just installed it just before, it's a pretty painless installation. Uh, it's about 80 gig for the full installation. So it's uh, not small, but uh, it's definitely worth it from the little play around we've had so far. It uh, sounds pretty incredible. So uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to fire it up now and um, just have a look through some of the patches, play through some of the presets and tweak them and uh, yeah, see how we go. So here we are in the main Keyscape plugin uh, screen that comes up. I'm firing this up in uh, Logic Pro X, so I'm just running this um, straight as a plugin. I'm not actually rendering the MIDI afterwards, so this is just being recorded as audio, basically how it comes straight out of the plugin, so warts and all. Um, controlling it from my Nord Stage 2. And this just strictly as a controller, not using any of the sounds out of this. Uh, right, so I'll start with the piano. So this is the main piano, LA Custom C7 Grand. Um, all I've done here is I just set up my uh, velocity curve so it's a bit more natural for the Nord Stage 2. There's no preset curve for the Nord Stage at the moment but um, I just created this one that seems to just just be a little smoother for, for this keyboard and make sure the uh, the notes don't jump out or or whatever. So um, yeah by default I've noticed that the um, voice count is at 32 uh, so I'm going to bump that up. 64 just so we don't get any notes cutting out um, but yeah anyway let's just play through some of the sounds so this is the main grand piano uh, here we go pretty gorgeous. Um, so that's without any reverb on. Um, I noticed this little T button here. So by default, you can hear that the release is quite abrupt. So it probably keeps things nice and clean in a pop track or something like that. But if you wanted it to be a bit more natural, just turn that on and you know it's a bit smoother. This pedal noise is, is pretty uh, great too, so they've modelled even that. So if I turn that up and press the sustain pedal, hear that coming through. But yeah, so this is your release noise, uh, velocity sensitivity. Um, so it's, actually, it's almost like compression. If you turn that down, it's, you can't play as soft. Um, but yeah, reverb, of course, so you know you can tweak all of these sounds within an inch of their life. I'll do a more in-depth look at a later date, but I just wanted to play through some of the sounds for now. Put a reverb. Let's go through some of these presets. So this is the uh, C7 Rock piano.
automatic. Just wait for this to load. So you can still play the sounds, preview them while they're loading, but the full quality of them won't be apparent until it's all done. There we go. gorgeous sound um, yeah there's heaps of presets as you can see here I'm not gonna go through them all now I'll have a, a more in-depth look at them at a later stage but uh, these are uprights wing upright Very cool. Take pianos. I'm just going to go through the acoustic pianos, uh, Clav's electric pianos today. I might leave the more uh, exotic stuff for another day. Um, electric pianos. This is one of the main reasons I bought this, apart from the acoustics, was for the Rhodes samples here. There we go. It's far up there. Classic Rhodes. So this is a 88 <clears throat> Mark One. It's great. So you can blend the uh, direct sound, mechanical sound, so just the mechanical with the mics, it's pretty cool. Direct sound, blend them together. Stereo tremolo on there, turn that on off. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go to into all the different sections for now. Let's play through a few of the few of the sounds. Um, classic phaser.
Yeah, that's pretty cool. So this is the LA Custom Road. So this is um, their own model. A little dynode sound, I'd say. Very pretty. Bit of chorus, perfect. Phase 90. So detailed. It's incredible. Um, so, what do we got here? Rhodes Classic Suitcase. Yeah. There we go. Let's try this one out. Wait for it to load. few notes dropped out then because the voice is only set to 32 uh, polyphony so I put that up to 64 shouldn't have any more problems yeah this road sounds killer so much detail Um, so I'll do another video with each of these sections and what each of the um, effects and tone sections and all that do to the sound. Um, all right, let's go to the claps. There we go. So this is straight clavinet. Um, just leave it all on default. Thank you. 
classic wah. So let's just throw a crybaby sim. Um, I've noticed this sensitivity here in the wah, that's for the like touch wah. So if you've got a pedal hooked up, like I do just an expression pedal, turn that down. Then you use expression pedal or your mod wheel. Control the wah, cut off. So, so many options here It'll take you forever to get through all of them but basically sounds great club sounds fantastic and once you've loaded the main set of samples loading any of these variations of the effects doesn't take very long at all Cool. Some lead sounds. Yeah, so many, so many sounds. I got the vintage vibe vibe in it. Not bad. All right, let's check out some of the uh, the whirlies. One forty B. Pretty cool, 200A. It's still loading up here. So it take a little while to completely load the sounds, but as I said, you can still play. Preview them, sound pretty much all there. Oh, these key bases are pretty cool. I stumbled across these before. 
So these are all your Rhodes piano bass and all that kind of stuff. It's set up to be monophonic by default. Five time base. Yeah, there's so many here. So this is just a, this is just a quick taste of this is some of the some of the sounds. Um, I'll do a more in depth look at each section. It's probably better just do a video on on each of those. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to hear. What uh, what part of this program, this um, plugin you're interested in, and uh, yeah, some pretty, pretty cool little student pianos and stuff like that. digital MKS-20 EPs. Ah, it brings back memories. under the hybrid piano section so I haven't even gone through these even haven't scratched the surface yet but uh, let's have a listen to a few of them sounds So there you go guys that's a very quick look at the new Keyscape by Spectrosonics um, just a taste of uh, what's in the program. So let me know what else you'd like to see. Uh, you can always check out my stuff at www.mikepensini.com or facebook.com slash mikepensinimusic uh, or check out my Instagram. There's always uh, lots of cool new synth videos going on, on there. 
So yeah, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.